is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below please keep in mind this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with every sagittarius watching this video all right sometimes i say bad words if it offends you hard left off the channel but i just hope you stay all right please feel free to switch the energies take what resonates and leave the rest out of the window sagittarius you're letting go of something toxic either you're letting go of a toxic situation or you're letting go of something a toxic person you could have been very obsessed with this person or someone's letting go of you okay something toxic toxic is being letting go something that you've been very very attached to rather i'd say something which is very unhealthy for you in the past you did take a break from this person maybe you weren't communicating with this person maybe there was no communication between you both but it was like a good break you know like clocking out like a time out more like a meditative energy you know like inaction a time of inaction Coming to the current moment, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. There's someone who's not investing in a situation or there is just someone, okay, who is focused on themselves. This is someone who's self-focused, okay, focused on their money, focused on their pentacles, focused on their work. What is influencing the situation is the King of Pentacles. So, yes, we already have a pair here. Yeah? We have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So, yes, we have a pair out here what's influencing the situation is that someone is probably wanting to offer something stolid something stable something committed but the current situation is that someone is not wanting the stability right now there is someone who wants to focus more on themselves if you if that makes sense this is more of self-focused energy currently and um but at the same time there's someone who's offering stability and growth we'll see on your mind, you have the Queen of Swords in reverse. You are fed up of someone, okay? You could be dealing with an air sign, a first leap of Gemini. There's someone you're fed up of. You're just cutting them off. You're being cold, detached, and you're just like, you know what? Like, fuck you. I don't need you anymore. You're fed up. You're cutting someone off. You just don't need someone anymore. That's the kind of energy I'm getting. Why everything, why the reason for the reading or why the reading is going down is because the judgment is in reverse. Okay, I see the judgment as a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. You could have Scorpio in a bird chart or you could even be dealing with a Capricorn. There are no second chances. That's why the reading is going down. That's what's happening basically. Someone does not want to repeat the past. Okay, there are no second chances given. Someone's just like, you know what? No. I'm not good. I'm not doing repeating the same shit again. And coming into the future, you're going to be experiencing a lot of waiting. We have the three of wands. Three of wands is like waiting for your ships to come in. You picked a direction, you worked on it, you invested, you're manifesting, and now you're waiting for it to happen. You're waiting for the fruits of your labor. All right. <clears throat> let's clarify this bad bitch of the reading. Okay. All right. Let's clarify. Why is the devil in reverse as the overall energy for Sagittarius, please? Why is the devil in reverse as the overall energy for Sagittarius, please? What are you releasing? You're releasing off someone from a commitment. We have the Hierophant in reverse. I told you. Okay, so king and queen, right? So this is definitely due with someone who's married. And there is probably a third party involved. Doesn't have to be. We'll see. You're releasing off a toxic marriage. I think you're releasing off someone that you're just unhappy with, okay? Whoever you were married to or even commitment, okay? This is someone you're releasing. You're releasing of someone from a commitment or someone's releasing someone from a commitment, okay? Apply for the Hierophant here. The Hierophant in reverse to me, if this is a person you're releasing, right? This is someone who's... Um, this is someone who's very um, stuck in their ways, okay? Like, they're, they're, they're not really the traditional types. They don't want to uh, follow the traditional core. But uh, they like it my way or highway, okay? That's someone very stubborn. Like, you would always feel very restricted with this person, okay? Like, it's got to be this way only, all right? And you're just going to feel like a cage. And you're letting them go. Good for you. Clarify for the Hierophant in reverse. Clarify for the Hierophant in reverse, please. Please clarify for the Hierophant in reverse. Clarify for the Hierophant in reverse. Clarify for the Hierophant in reverse. 
Yeah, all right. There we go. It was a third party situation. We have the three of cups here. Someone was cheating. There was someone, someone was a cheater. You're letting go of a cheater. We have the three of cups in reverse. Three of cups in reverse is someone who is cheating. You let go of a cheater. You're detaching a cheater. Okay, you could have been committed to this person or this could per this could be someone who is non-committal. You were very, very obsessed with this person. It was a it was a situation, a connection where you just couldn't get rid of them. You couldn't break this connection. Okay, you couldn't just like let go of them. But finally, you gathered your your strength and you let go of someone who was toxic, someone who was non-committal, and someone who was a cheater. Clarify the three of cups in reverse. Clarify the three of cups in reverse. Clarify the three of cups in reverse, please. Yeah, and now there's lack of there's a lack of forward moment. We have the eight of wands in reverse. You've completely stopped communication with this person. You're not talking to this person. You don't care. I, I feel like you don't care. You don't give a shit. You're like, you're not. Fuck you. Bye. You're done. I'm done. You're good. Clarify the four of swords. Why is the four of swords here in the past for Sagittarius, please? Clarify right, the four of swords. You could be living at a distance from this person, but maybe because of the isolation or the quarantine, you're not being able to meet each other. But there is definitely no communication between you both. There's just no communication or like a lack of forward progress. There's just a lack of progress between you both. Well, it's very obvious. You've let go of someone that you've been either you were committed to or someone who was non-committal and a cheater. Clarify right, the four of swords. Yeah, you take a break from this person because something did not manifest, okay? You stop waiting for your ships to come in. You have the three of wands in reverse here. Can I put the three of wands in reverse? Why is the three of wands in reverse here? Can I put the three of wands in reverse? Yeah. So I feel that in the past, you took a break from this person. You gave it a thought. You gave this some time. But then you were convinced that, you know what? This shit is not happening. Like your ships are not coming in. You just gave up on something. You turned your back onto something. And then we have the page of cups. So someone came in with an apology. The page of cups. I see page of cups as an apology. All right. <clears throat> Why is queen of pentacles in reverse as the current situation? <clears throat> you know what I feel currently? Whoever this person is, right? The queen of pentacles to me is a lockdown woman. Okay, She's a married woman. But out here she's in the reverse. She's stuck in a rut. She's stuck in a marriage. She's stuck in a rut. Or this, is, or this is just someone focused on her financial independence. And now uh, there's someone who wants to offer her stability and growth. Or this is just her who's definitely taking up the role of the king of pentacles. And she's just moving forward. I feel once you're letting go of this person, now this person wants to offer you commitment or growth, stability, security, everything. Now that you're focused on yourself, okay? Law of attraction, what can I say, baby? Clarify the queen of pentacles in reverse. Clarify the queen of pentacles in reverse, please. Yeah. You're being restless over a situation from the past, okay? We have the four of swords in reverse. This is thinking about a situation over and over and over again and getting restless about it, okay? Clarify the four of swords in reverse. What is the four of swords in reverse here? Four. Okay, so this King of Pentacles really got you restless. It got this 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 person got you into your head. You could be dealing with uh, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. You could have this in your birth chart. So you know what I'm feeling here, that you are so focused on your work right now, and now because you're so focused on yourself, focused on this is um, uh, someone who's just trying to build themselves. That now the other person is extremely restless over the situation that you don't give a shit to them and now they want to come in and offer you commitment. They want to offer you stability. Clive the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles influencing the situation? Why is the King, king of Pentacles influencing the situation? Clive the King of Pentacles, please. Who is the King of Pentacles here? Yeah. <clears throat> you cut this King of Pentacles out. We have the King of Swords in reverse here. You cut them out. You were like, whatever, bye-bye, I'm done. Either you cut them out or they cut you out. But whoever this king of swords is, right? This king of pentacles could have been someone who was extremely manipulative earlier, okay? Could have been a liar, could have been a cheater. I already feel a little cheating out here, but whatever. Clarify for the king of swords in reverse, please. Clarify for the king of swords in reverse. Clarify for the king of swords in reverse. 
<clears throat> yeah. Okay, there are so many people out here. Anyways, the slapper by the emperor in reverse. This person who is now coming in to offer you stability and growth was an absolute liar and emotional, very, very manipulative. Uh, this person uh, could have lied to you. He could have uh, done things. Uh, th this is someone very self-serving energy, okay? At the same time, this is someone who is, again, the emperor in reverse is someone who's extremely stubborn about their own ways, okay? It could also be that now this person wants to offer this to you. This is what they did to you. But now you're being the emperor in reverse. You're just like, you know, you know what? No. Someone's being extremely stubborn here. Like someone's being a shithead here. Like no, my way or the highway. Now I think they're like, they want you under any circumstances. I think they're hellbent on having you back. The emperor in reverse is also someone very angry, stubborn, possessive, and a control freak. This is someone who feels they've lost control of the situation, okay? Because they were very manipulative in the past. Clarify the emperor in reverse. The emperor in reverse, please. Yeah, you definitely, 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 they definitely want to offer commitment to you. And now they want to come in with the stability, the security. They want the four of wands. They want commitment with you. They want marriage with you. They want celebration with you. So they fucked up all year and now they want to come back and unfuck things. Let me know in the comment box how that works. <laughs> that sucks. Clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse. Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse on Sagittarius's mind? Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse here? Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse? Yeah, you were fed up because we have the Empress in reverse. Okay, so Empress in reverse. I thought there was no growth. There was no expansion. You didn't see things growing with this person. You wanted to give birth to something new, but there was no creation of nothing new. Okay. This could also be, if the Empress is in reverse, this could be a female. It doesn't have to be. But if this is an Empress, you know what? The thing is, we're getting pairs here. Like, we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. We have the Emperor and we have the Empress. Like, what the fuck is going on? You know what? I think this is... Anyways, we have the Four of Wands here. This is a 100,000% a Twin Flame connection, okay? You guys are totally mirroring each other. Like, you're mirroring each other. Like, so in the past... So there, the Emperor in Reverse. And on your mind is the Empress in Reverse. The Empress in Reverse can also be a very unnurturing parent, just to put it out there, okay? But yes, you cut this person off. You were fed up because there was no growth expansion. Maybe this was someone who didn't really take care of the family. And they were very focused on themselves. They were stubborn in their ways. And they weren't really nurturing enough, okay? Someone d is not nurturing the connection anymore. Or you don't want to nurture a connection anymore, all right? You don't see any growth expansion with this person and you cut their ass off. All right. Clarify the Empress in reverse, please. Please clarify the Empress in reverse. You could be dealing with the Taurus. Clarify the Empress in reverse. Yeah. And then we have the chariot in reverse clarified. So now there's no forward moment. There is a complete loss of control in this situation. The chariot in reverse can be dealing with a cancer but this the chariot in reverse is someone a either they want to travel towards you but they can't of course we know why because we're in quarantine right now but the other reason could also be that anyways you're not seeing growth okay so things have come to a complete halt okay either things are at a complete halt or then there is just the the, the, the um the situation is out of control you've just lost control of the situation or this is just someone who thinks they've lost control of the situation after you cut them off Clarify the chariot in reverse, please. Clarify the chariot in reverse. This is someone who needs to get hold of the situation, but they can't because they just feel there's nothing's in their hands. I mean, clarify the chariot in reverse, please. Why is the chariot in reverse? Because someone's released someone, okay? Either we have the hangman in reverse. You could be dealing with the Pisces or you have Pisces in your birth chart. But someone's either being very, very stubborn about them, about their ways. Someone's not budging. I feel more like a budge fest here, okay? You're not budging, they're not budging, you know? In the past, they weren't budging, now you're not budging, okay? Now they realize what, 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 I mean, what they did, and now they want to come in with all that commitment and stability, growth, and uh, celebration, and um, whatever have you. But now there's someone who's being stubborn, okay? Now this is someone who's just, like, dug their heels, and now they're like, nope. Nope, nope, that ain't happening no more. Nothing's moving forward with you. 
you better back up your truck, but nothing's moving forward. All right, clarify the hangman in reverse. What is this hangman in reverse? Let me see, are you releasing something or are you just stubborn? Clarify the hangman in reverse, clarify the hangman in reverse. Yeah, because you're dropping something. Yeah, so this is someone who's releasing something, okay? Not only is this person stubborn, this could be you, Sagittarius, because this is on your mind. Not only are you stubborn about not letting this person in, but you're releasing this person because you made your choice. We have the two of pentacles in reverse. You could have been juggling a decision of whether you want this person or not, whether you want to be with this person or not, or two people, two situations. But I have a feeling that you were juggling whether you were indecisive about whether you want to be with this person or not but now you made up your mind and you're like done you're releasing this person you, you you're dropping this person out why is the judgment in reverse here why is the judgment in reverse why is the judgment in reverse why is the judgment in reverse please yeah you're ending things no second chances because there is an ending you're ending things with a shitty person we have the death here Another, so judgment for me is a Scorpio and we have another Scorpio card, double Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Scorpio or you have Scorpio in your birth chart. Clarify the death. Clarify the death, please. Yeah. You are healing yourself from a heartbreak. We have the three of swords in reverse. It's very, very clear. Yeah, okay. It's very clear. Yeah, Sagittarius. You're not giving second chances to someone. Okay. No reconciliation no reconciling no second chances and not repeating the shitty past anymore i am done i'm ending a situation and you're healing from whatever emotional trauma breakup separation divorce whatever you want okay you're healing from the situation that's why all this is happening now they won't offer you but now you're too focused on yourself you don't give a shit to this person you could have already left this person okay all right, clarify the three of wands here. Why will Sagittarius experience the three of wands in the future? Why will Sagittarius experience the three of wands in the future? Clarify the three of wands, please. Yeah. You're manifesting. I, I, you know what? We have the three of wands with the eight of cups. You're manifesting a new beginning. I think you're manifesting. You're looking towards a new direction, Sagittarius. You're walking away from whatever did not make you happy. All right. Let's see if you're walking away just from the past or walking away from this person. I have a feeling you're walking away from this person, but let's see. Clarify the Eight of Cups. What is this Eight of Cups? Clarify the Eight of Cups, please. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you, hold, you, you, you have a lot of strength. You're very confident that you're going to be okay. You're walking away from this person, this cheater, whoever this person was, this manipulative person, because you feel that there is a much better out there, okay? The grass is greener on the other side. You're walking away from this person. You're looking in a different direction. You're manifesting a new direction, a whole new direction. And you have the strength there. You could be dealing with a Leo, but you got the confidence. You're bossing up. You're making boss moves. You're killing it, Sagittarius. Clarify the strength. Clarify the strength, please. Please clarify the strength, please. Yeah. But there's someone who's we have the seven of pentacles you know what i feel you're still going to be in like an in like a little waiting game the three of wands is more is waiting energy the seven of pentacles i understand because you have already invested in a relationship or a connection okay this look this is a strong connection all right but you were very very disappointed but you're still going to wait maybe you're just still manifesting that things get better but uh, you're, you, you, you're manifesting, moving away from any negativity or anything that didn't serve you, anything that didn't make you happy. You're holding on. You're, you're, trying to, you're trying to tame the situation and you're still going to be waiting. I see the waiting going, going on. You're going to wait and watch. You're going to give this some time. I don't think you're taking any drastic decisions yet. yet. Yes, you do want to end it. You have ended it. But it's still, you're still a little indecisive. This is a little... Uh, should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? I think it's like a wait and watch game. You may want to give this person another chance, but I don't know. You know what? Just let me clarify. Clarify the seven of pentacles here. What is the seven of pentacles here? Let's clarify. I'm very, I'm very, um, I feel drawn to uh, clarify the seven of pentacles. Clarify the seven of pentacles, please. Where is the seven of pentacles here for Sagittarius? Clarify the seven of pentacles. 
Yeah, because you think, because the world is in reverse, Sagittarius, you feel that you have unfinished business with this person. Something stuck. You withdrew from this connection all of a sudden, or this person got out of this connection, okay? All of a sudden, there was an abrupt ending. And that's why you're still waiting to see, like, what should I do? Do I still need to invest more? You're just going to wait and watch. Like I said, wait and watch is all I can hear. Maybe that's what I'm going to tag this um, reading. Yeah, you have unfinished business. We have the world in reverse. You're not still, you, either you're still not learning your lessons, Sagittarius, or this is the person you're dealing with who's not learning their lessons. Someone's repeating the same mistake again and again and again. All right, Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope this resonates with you. Please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear them. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Love you.